So we're celebrating the fact that Teddy Fenley has won the National Heritage Hero Award. It's a national award given out by the Heritage Council that celebrates his contribution to heritage over the years. The Heritage Hero Award gives us the opportunity to honour these people and the opportunity to share their work, their passion and their efforts with others. This year's Heritage Hero, Teddy Fennelly, is richly deserving of the award. It's thanks to people like Teddy and his work that valuable stories don't remain untold and that our towns and villages take pride in its people, its building and its landscapes. It's a celebration and an acknowledgement of all that Teddy has done. It's kind of like a lifetime achievement award. It's a, 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 an award that really recognises at national level the work that Teddy has been doing for so many years. I originally would have first met him as a young lad going up to the Port Leash GA Club to learn how to hurl or play football. And I suppose Teddy was a stalwart and still is a stalwart of the local GA Club. I suppose I've known him all my life through uh, sports clubs and things like that. He was editor of the local paper, so he's a big kind of community person. Um, in my current job, I'm most aware of him because of just how many publications he's contributed to the local studies collection. Um, but what the kind of, I suppose, the, the calibre of what Teddy produces means that we can give them to the most academic researchers and know that um, they're high enough quality to be used as reference material. Since we were young with his work in the newspaper, he'd come across an insignificant piece of history and all of a sudden we mightn't see him for, for months working away and getting to the bottom of that story. Like the level of thoroughness and integrity has always blown me away. He just has a huge graph for it. And can I say this to you now? He's not a person that's out there will say stop in progress of Port East because of we say some historic artifact or something like that or an area. He's not doing that. He's just making sure, like the Ford Protector, that it's built in to the infrastructure that we have at the moment and that it'll fit into the infrastructure going forward in Port Leash. Like, he's very open-minded like that. So I'm a member of the town team myself as well and um, he's very active in that. Um, he's played a huge part in terms of the cultural quarter in Port Leash. Um, so a few years ago that didn't exist and uh, between a combination of the uh, Ford Protector work that's been taking place there and the work that's taken place on Fitzmaurice Place, which is another story in itself that Teddy's also responsible for. His fingerprints are all over both those pro projects in all fairness. So. The latest thing that we've all been talking about, but Teddy, I'd say, would say he's been talking about it for 50 years, is the Colonel Fitzmaurice story. The first transatlantic east-west flight. He wrote the book Fitz and the Famous Flight, which is the definitive work on the subject. Um, he's the reason we had a festival of flight earlier this year. He's the reason why we have art pieces, the beautiful music that was created by Martin Tourish, The Impossible Dream. Fitzmaurice saw the importance of Ireland and the position of Ireland in world aviation. So is there an international context? Yes, there is. I believe it to be an immense impact. And I say that because even within the Air Corps, while we celebrate and mark the spot where the Bremen took off from, we had lost the full explanation of that flight, the full understanding of the flight and of all it took. And Teddy has kept that memory alive when nobody else was keeping it alive. What we're talking about is a man who has dedicated so much of his spare time over many years to promoting not only the story of Leash, but asking everybody to look at where they are, where they're from, and hopefully, of course, this helps to give a bit of a hint of where we're going. So I, I would feel that Teddy is the perfect heritage hero for Ireland um, due to his continuing enthusiastic work. As a, as a family, we are so proud of Teddy, and it's also great to see the level of contr contribution and his commitment uh, being recognised. Well, it's, it's a unique award and, and I'm honoured and, and very proud. I'm more humbled than honoured actually because I, I was not expecting... A, a county award is a, is a major, a major achievement but, but getting a national award is, is something that I could never expect. But it's, I take it as more of an acknowledgement of the work 
that has been put in by the people of Leash. This is an acknowledgement of their work on behalf of Heritage because the people I've worked with in Heritage have really brought this county to the fore. We are fortunate here in Leash to have a wonderful Heritage officer in Catherine Casey and she has brought the county council with her and in recent years the chief executive of the council, John Mulholland, has come along with her and with us. So I'm, I, it's on their behalf that I am happy to accept this award. <laughs> the heritage is what we're all about. It's what makes Ireland such a magnificent place. It makes us proud of our country. It makes us proud of our county. And of course, it makes us proud of our home place, which is very, very important. And that's, that's, that's what heritage is about. It's a very important part of all our lives.